Listen, if y'all want to know how to get in shape, work on your yard. up you guys it is the weekend it is july 4th weekend so we have an extended weekend so we figured this is the best time to come out here and tackle some of our lawn care that we've been wanting to do we need to replace the mulch around the house and by the front door here we're going to plant two azalea bushes on both sides i also have a hydrangea bush that i'll show you guys on the side of the house that i need to do some um just pruning well it's not necessarily pruning because i was doing my research there's pruning but then there's also um Trim. what they say it was called dead lip dead heading I, I might be using the wrong term I'll, I'll put it on the screen if i'm using the wrong term but basically i have some of them that need to that are just dead um but it's a beautiful hydrangea bush. I want to make sure that I take care of it. I will also do a haul. We went to Home Depot and Lowe's today and got a few items that we needed. So let me show you guys what we got. Okay, so the first item we have are these two planters. Um, they're like a terracotta type of color, but um, you know, they're really light. So they're gonna go on both sides of our door like that. And then we have these two azalea bushes here that we're gonna plant on the inside. So we have Autumn Sunset. They were $28.98 each. And they are reblooming azaleas. So those are gonna go into those two planters there. We also purchased these seat cushions here. We already had this set from our previous home, but we needed to replace the cushions, so got two of those. And we chose a tan color because if you see the stone, you can see it has like a beautiful gray tan. So we could have went with gray or tan, we decided to go with tan. Um, we also bought this transplanter because I want to put a, a herb garden in the backyard. I like it because, I don't know if I can see it. You can see it. It has the measurements on the top here. We also got these pruners. And then we both got a set of the gardening gloves. One for me and one for Brian. You also got this succulent from Home Depot. So that's right. So cute. Okay. Just a closer look at it. So cute. And I bought it to go right there. So yeah, I think this section right here is complete. It's the whole mood I want. I got my candle here, hand soap, my succulent that I did probably put some water in, my cleaning utensils, and then over here is hidden with the utensils for the straws and stuff to clean those. Next things are in the garage. We got some potting mix here, two bags of that. We also have, I think we got 10 bags of mulch. We opted for the brown mulch. So that's what we'll be using in the front and backyard. I'll give you an example of like some of the areas that we'll be doing. And then lastly, we have a my husband can probably explain more about this if you're interested <laughs> because he did a lot of research on the different types of lawnmowers and all that stuff. So this is a lawnmower and then we have this trimmer over here. I forgot about these things. Babe just reminded me. We also got this shovel. Yeah, we got the rake too, yep. Okay, so as y'all see all this, we need to replace all this mulch. We have mulch all across here. So we have to replace all that. I don't think we have to do anything on the side. Yeah, some on the side too. Yeah, so we have to go all the way around. We also have this 
section that we need to remulch. And then we have to trim. This is like the new growth grass. We have to trim all that, remulch all this. This is our tree, our property line ends literally right there. So thankfully that's not on our property. That's on theirs, but this is our, our so we have to remulch that. And then there's some places in the back too that we have to remulch. I'll take you back there. This is also our tree in the front, remulching this. And then on this side, remulching all here, all of this. Here's my hydrangeas that I was telling you guys about. So there are some that, you know, these are fine, but like this. Of course, we're gonna do all this mulch. We hope we don't need any more mulch, but we might. And then the backyard, we have mulch. That was my gate closing. We have mulch all around the edge that we have to do. These are the wild plants I was telling y'all about. We have to dig these up and get rid of these. Remote over here. This is where I plan to have my herbs, my herb planter. I don't have it yet, but when I get it, I plan on putting it right here. Um, that's basically it. So yeah, as y'all can see, it it continues around here. Remote there, remote there, and there. So yeah, we're probably not gonna get to all of it today. Um, the mulching probably wait till tomorrow. Um, but I plan to try to do the potting my plants in the front today because I'm excited about those. Y'all look at Bay. She's so cute. What should we name her? Let's get to it. <laughs> I'm close enough, close enough up for y'all to see what I'm doing. So, my husband's helping me now, so now I can probably show y'all better what I'm talking about. So right here, you see, this is dead. But as you can see, you don't want to cut off it, just cut off all the way at the bottom, because there's some pretty greenery right there. So you don't want to cut that, okay? That could, that could take away, and I don't want to cut that either. That could take away something potentially that's coming back next year. So, snip off that one part. And then this piece is still there to thrive. So I'll take off this and all that's going to go in the trash. But you want to make sure you remove those. You don't want to overcrowd the base because it wants to breathe. Let's show them what you're doing. Let's show them what you're doing. He's I'm helping me. I'm doing the messiest part ever of milling a plant. <laughs> okay, so Bryce is helping. So we're getting a little bit more soil on the ground than, than I'm expected. I'm doing that. Me and are doing like the dirtiest part of yeah. the plant. That's okay. So did you... So he's helping me put the potting soil in there. We need to get him some gloves. All right, now you know, mix it together. I don't have any um, gloves, but that's okay because I can wash my hands when I get inside. Yeah, make sure you just don't touch your face and stuff. All right, let's finish putting some more potting soil in there. Well, do your test. Test on what? Put this, put this in there, see how much more soil we need. Okay. Yeah. Don't take it out, but just put it in there. Pick it up from the base. And plop it in there so you can see around how much soil. So you still you won't supposed to put it all the way in there. <laughs> so now you know that you still need some more soil. Yeah, but how do we get it out? Oh. Like that. Alright, go ahead. Let me put some more soil in there. How much? Um probably need to get this like right here. Okay. We have this one in there, but um, it's not done because I still need to. Yes, mommy, I think I'm done. Okay, baby. I need to finish filling in the insides with, with the potting mix. Then I need to put the fertilizer up there and kind of water it in. Okay, you guys. I'm done. Here's the reveal. Y'all be kind. This is my first time doing this. Okay. <laughs> Here it is. that back a little bit so there it goes I really like how the color of the um, planter goes with the 
stone. If you take a look over here, those are the tan cushions that we purchased yesterday. I really want to get a plant for right here and something for right here. So please give me your recommendations. Y'all know this is all new to me. So if you have any recommendations on a certain type of plant, let me know. But here's the view from this side. I want to get like a outdoor candle right there. Thank you. You're welcome. About to help Bay rock rake this out. This is the moat. Um, but before I do so, I just want to let y'all know that we realize we're gonna need a lot more moat. <laughs> Listen, if y'all want to know how to get in shape, work on your yard. So these 10 bags we had, y'all, wasn't even enough for this thing. We probably need one more bag y'all can see we weren't able to get to this spot right here and this little spot right there too and um i know it looks like some areas can be spread out more but once you spread them out it take it, it's it's not that thick of a layer <laughs> so we have to go get more mulch clearly because we only able to get to this one so this thing takes about 11 mulch bags <sighs> but let me come around the front I'm tired, y'all. I was doing the raking and then Brian was spreading, you know, opening the mulch bags and pouring and then I was raking. So we had a tag team effort going. So that's what we got so far. It definitely looks good. He, it, he did the edging today and then we did the mulching. All right, so I'm about to wrap up this week's vlog. We're about to head to a brewery. We live around a lot of wineries and breweries. So we're about to go there and just spend some family time and kick it. But I wanted to thank you guys for watching this week. Um, definitely let me know if you have any recommendations. All this yard work, gardening, all that is very new to me. Um, so definitely share your expertise and knowledge with me. Um, um, especially for the herb planter I want to have in the backyard. Let me know what herbs that you think I should do. I'm thinking about maybe like some thyme, maybe parsley, cilantro. Probably do some jalapenos too because I like spice. So kind of like, let me know if you have a planter that you recommend, um, what herbs I should do, how to care for them, what I need to purchase. <laughs> Give me all the tips, y'all. I don't know. Um, but if you enjoyed the vibe, definitely subscribe. Thank you for all your support. And I will see you in next week's vlog. All right, y'all. Peace.